Hey guys, Slumsy here. Oh my goodness, long time no see. How is everybody doing? Thank you for joining me on this ad hoc stream. Out of nowhere, I thought, let's try it. Oh, look at that. Uh, you might see something weird on the screen. I am currently trying to... Uh, uh, play around with this new gadget that I got yesterday. It's a Toby Eye Tracker. It's great for simulation and some first-person games. And it's a fancy extension for Twitch. But I have to set it up still. One sec, huh? I think I have to play around with the number though. Basically, the yellow and the gray bubbles are trying to catch each other. <laughs> this is a game on itself. No, but we are supposed to be trying out uh, Transport Fever 2 today. So give me a few seconds. I'm just trying to synchronize this. Oh my goodness, this will take a longer time, I think. I needed a separate session altogether. <laughs> it was just yesterday. Oh, okay. Uh, let me try it one last time. Okay, and then we, we switch back. Okay, that's close enough, I think. Alright, so... This uh, ghost thingy is not really that important right now, so let's not focus on that. This is this will play mostly when it comes to uh, trucking on Friday, but for today, we don't need that. We'll check out Transport Fever 2. Right now, I loaded it, I tried to uh, execute it, and I played around a bit, a few minutes. It seems to be loading, but... We'll see. I haven't configured the volume yet, so uh, let's turn off the music and it might get loud a bit. Cover your ears for a second or so. This might be loud. It's, I think it's still at full volume, basically. Actually, it's not that bad. There you go. Hey, Blah. Thanks for joining, man. Some new music. This will uh, come out on, do you guys remember the date? Was it December 11? I might be giving wrong numbers here. It's a bit too loud. There we go. It's a bit better. He had four games running. <laughs> Multitasking for the win. Yeah, Transport Fever 2 hype. I was trying out free game. I was a bit rusty. But the graphics, the uh, improvements are very well appreciated. Camera tool, hey, I like that one. Good. So we'll go and check it out today. Okay. okay. Let's turn on the debug mode as well. I think that will unlock some features in here. I've not seen it yet. Ah, that one. Invert zooming, zoom to cursor, invert panning, and rotation. I think rotation is what I want. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> 22 months! Goodness, AJ! <laughs> thanks for the subscription again. Thanks for the resub, man. Glad you're here, and thanks for the tips yesterday. Sure thing, Pumpkin. What are you fixing? Been watching someone else play it. Soon enough, soon enough. Right. So, campaign or free game? Let's go campaign because I'm planning to start a uh, series on YouTube, which is going to be a free game for sure. But now, while we're still getting acquainted with the new features, I think it's good to get Mankind on a campaign. Mankind is constantly creating amazing new inventions. Get involved in rapid technological progress and ensure smoothly running transportation in different regions of the world. 
This will also serve as a very good primer for people who are new to the series, to the Transport it's Fever series. It's the dawning series. of the 20th century. The major powers of Europe are in the process of divvying up the last fragments of the world map among themselves. At long last, the German Empire wants a place where it can bask in the limelight too. It sees its chance along the Bosporus, where temperamental Sultan Abdul Hamid II rules over a vast territory. Time for the Germans to secure the biggest infrastructure project in all of Asia Minor. Do we have to do this like sequentially or it depends on us? I guess hey, with that, the island looks of familiar. Java, tropical Indonesia. jewel in the midst of the Indian Ocean, conscientiously administrated by meticulous Dutch bureaucracy. I like this coffee. The year is 1870 and the colony is undergoing a transformation. Recently, individuals have been allowed to lease farmland and manage plantations. The fertile land offers ideal conditions for exporting a multitude of colonial goods. Off on the way to an exotic experience. I like this. Let's go with this one. Coffee and colonialism. Mm, I like the coffee, not so much the colonialism. But it is very close to home. So let's uh, go with that one. Yeah, the tips worked. I uh, used some of them. I think the USB 3 was the biggest uh, improvement. I have a video coming up later. Uh, where I have a uh, road to the Black Sea and the Toby Eye Tracker working hand in hand. So hopefully that works. And we'll be using the Eye Tracker in the succeeding in the near future for the upcoming vids and streams. I want to get used to it. it I have to unlearn like the track IR habits that I've learned through the years. Hey Tyrone, welcome back. Glad you made it on this ad hoc stream. <clears throat> Let's see how the performance is. Let's see how the graphics is. The Dutch East Indies. Oh, that's beautiful. Surely the most exemplary colonial empire under the sun. Next generation graphics. With luscious fruits and cheap labor in abundance. Man, that is beautiful. You act on behalf of the colonial administration. A gifted talent in the art of engineering, you have been appointed to modernize the local transport sector. Not really, Jay. <laughs> Complete they just this suggested... task to the satisfaction of the crown. They did. Uh... If you do, even the post as governor might be in store for you. They did suggest some settings. Uh, they led me to a website, but they were more on the, the basic side. Transport is a much sought after service on this scarcely civilized island. Eating draft animals such as oxen is punishable by law. That's why the colonial administration has commissioned you to build a railroad so that the plantation business prospers. The delicious coffee is supposed to be transported yeah, from the like. fertile hinterlands to the facility near town for processing. I didn't know there was Anyone set coffee. on building wisely and cheaply avoids unnecessary slopes. Perform oh, the necessary surveying one. work. Me move that here so you guys can see it. That's interesting. I didn't know there were new goods. The like coffee and what is that? Coffee and uh, coffee fruits to coffee beans, is it? Yeah, roasting them. That's interesting. Okay, okay. Let's follow the, the mission here. Yeah, coffee is very famous in Indonesia. <clears throat> I think I have a couple of beans sourced from them. Uh, anyone set on building wisely cheaply avoids unnecessary slopes. Activate the contour lines that should be here on the left side. Contour lines. Build there we go. From a thriving plantation Bravo. across treacherous terrain to the processing factory where the coffee fruit is husked. Smooth that. And I think you guys can enable the Toby Ghost overlay so you can at least see where I'm looking at. But it's not really necessary for this game. But it's just a. Uh, a fancy fancy thing to have so I have the camera turned on just so you can use that as well build a cargo station in the highlighted area next to the factory there this guy I guess and complete the tracks coffee plantation so factory is that one and complete the tracks of the coffee plant okay so we connect it all right all right I get it so basically we connect the coffee plantation with the coffee 
factory. Gotcha. Right. So we can make a uh, building, either a station or a terminus station. And aside from the very obvious graphical improvements, one of the major improvements in the second transport fever is that you can actually now create modular train stations. You can add uh, multiple tracks, multiple different uh, buildings and whatnot. So it's not just fixed and that's going to come in very handy later on. Now let's see, if you look at the contours, there's a bit of a contour here. Let me see the important thing is this has to light up so if we remove the contour lines for now this has to be in the catchment zone and th that is there so it should light up like so at the very least yes hey Tom just went live a few minutes ago yeah twitch is a bit delayed when it comes to that how have you, how have you been doing man but uh, glad you made it still That should be okay. Is this a uh, cargo? Yeah, cargo terminus. Okay, good. This is much cheaper though. 174 versus 260. Oh yes, please. The cheaper, the better. Let's see if I twist it like so. That's 165. Money matters. There you go. <laughs> that may, might not be look the prettiest but definitely is the most effective use of our money. And that's the only connection point, that gravel path right there. Okay, then let's make the rest of the tracks. I love the sound. Very Chinese sounding. Not sure if that's Indonesian, but Asian definitely. Looks like we have some tracks already. We just trace that out. But I, I'm happy to see that at least now there, it, it's uh, coming very close. Games are coming very close to my territory. So, at least it's not completely alien to me. That's 89. That's slowing down a bit, but shouldn't be a problem. There you a go. depot is needed. Yes, you too. I'm really glad to be back. That's why I couldn't wait till Wednesday till tomorrow to stream actually my brother-in-law is staying with us until thursday so i i i'm still thinking how i can uh, how i can stream <laughs> but uh, i think i can manage i think i can uh, i can find a way so we'll see tomorrow how that goes um only possible in the highlighted area. They want the depot to be here. Where would we face it? Allow it to face. Now, the starting point would be the plantation anyway. But I think what we can do is we could face it like this both. I'm getting encoding overload. Oh, with the GPU. I see. Now, that wouldn't work. Definitely not. We have to give it a bit of a space here. So I think what I can do is... I, oh, look at that. Only 18k if you don't go through any contours. Yeah, definitely. Let's go with that one. And then let's just connect this by track. Oh, this... I miss this very much. That one. We connect here. I missed that sound. The sound of the... The rails, very, very much a signature of transport fever. 14k, can we go any cheaper? 13k is the cheapest we can go. All right, I can do with that. Purchase a complete train, including locomotive and freight cars. The graphics there, right? Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Four freight cars. Set any speed limits on any road train or ferry. Um, are you talking about transport fever or ETS2? Man, look at that lighting. Beautiful. That looks so realistic, doesn't it? 
Now, one question. Does anyone know how you take screenshots here? Ah, there you go. That's the answer. I didn't enable that last time. There's a separate uh, camera function in the in the uh, settings outside in the main menu. Oh, I love that tree. Very tropical looking. All right, let's focus on this one. Buy vehicles. Um, buy a train with four freight cars, which can transport coffee fruit. All right, so what kind of... Uh, okay, we only have steam engines. The D13 or the Borsig. The Borsig is faster, higher power, stronger torque. So uh, do we need that though? Yeah, let's go with that. We have a lot of money. Let's go with that and then we need four freight cars so for cargo and we need coffee fruit so this is fortunate because this can take both the coffee fruits and the coffee beans so it can take one from the plantation and then back if needed and this one is the different item that's but a bamboo sugar okay one two three four buy it the coffee beans can now be brought from the plantations on their way to further processing all right create a route now can you still create a route from here set line no you cannot but you can create from here new line from the plantation to the factory there you go all right that looks good and then we go back to the train and to the to the to the to the train there you go and assign it to line one perfect now we take a look at our handiwork too many things and details in this game compared to the previous one. Oh yeah definitely won't baby you around it's uh it's a hardcore management team oh quick call jack there's a bear the bear just went in the train there it is get your rifles ready Take a photo of that guy. Let's take a photo. Oh, look at that beauty. With the bear in the background. I think that's a clear winner right there. Is there no option anymore for the lat long? Capture image. Oh yeah, there it is. I was looking for this one. This one, you can change the uh, the field of view if it's uh, narrow or wide, just like in a camera. Very nice. How about that, huh? How do you go down? F R. Not sure. Right click, uh, middle mouse, uh, left click. Okay, left click is the elevation, right click is the uh, panning, and middle mouse is the rotation, basically. So let's angle this properly. And of course, because there's a photo mode, we're going to be spending a majority of our time in this mode. Sorry in advance but it cannot be helped. I cannot resist such a good screenshot. There you go. Game does lag if you fast forward it. Ah, okay. Let's stay tuned. I love the smoke there. And I, I saw this. You can actually go here, go in first person. And now they unlock the camera so you can actually look behind like so. And even move it like that. And that looks amazing, doesn't it? For our train fans, I'm sure this is going to be such a treat. Oh, it's speeding up. We're top speed now, 45 kilometers per hour. Stay here. <sighs> so how have you guys been doing? What have you been up to? Man, 
feels like forever since I was out. <laughs> Just trucking, so don't tell him. <laughs> He's busy. Oh my goodness, my GPU is. Uh, I think I need a GPU upgrade soon. I cannot go all max settings here. I'll, I'll fine tune it next time. My CPU is doing good though. 34% total CPU usage. Yeah, that's fine. Even your GPU max out. <laughs> okay, that's saying something then. Yeah, right now I'm at the uh, 87%. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Uh, let's let's wait till we arrive at the plantation and then let's have a look what they have in store for us here okay looks like we have some coffee fruits waiting for us already these guys does it say load them up there you go that's all okay where are we here that's the one. 16 pieces. 16 units of coffee fruits. Goodness, that's heavy on the graphics, huh? Um, shadows, let's put that to medium. Maybe that will help a little. Did it? Hopefully. Yeah, I think that helped a lot. Mm, not so much. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what do we need? Create a route and deliver coffee fruit to the factory. Yeah, that's fine. You just wait for it. So we see here now that we have coffee fruits waiting. And uh, what I love about this, what I've seen from the gameplay video that uh, Urban Games showed. We actually have so much detail in here now. I love this. Because before, it was very high level what was happening and you would have to guess. Here, it's clear. They're producing 200 of the fruits. Their shipping, uh, shipping is increasing, but we are not transporting anything yet. And you can see it's like high, getting highlighted here. That means transportation is the bottleneck. So once we ship the coffee plants, is that what it's called? Coffee fruits, rather. Once this arrives at the destination here, then this transport score, the percentage will arise. And that should allow the industry to continue producing. I wonder what this is for. It looks like we will be making a passing lane soon. I think it's part of the tutorial here. It looks like it, definitely. Man, that is lovely. Yes, 1080p only. What are you playing at? Are you on 4K? Shoot. <laughs> if only Scotsman were here. Maybe tomorrow he will be. I'm still thinking how I will stream tomorrow because my brother-in-law is sleeping with us. And uh, he's uh, sleeping on the couch which is right behind me. So if I stream at 8am he might still be sleeping so you might see him lying there. <laughs> he might not like that. I'll have to talk to him later. But yeah. Uh it's nice though, it's, uh, it's actually perfect timing so I'm not uh, left alone and so I am kept busy so I don't, uh, I don't uh, think too much basically. 2.5k, ah I see. Yeah so uh, at 1080p maybe it won't be that bad. There we go, task completed. What a superb railway. It provides the local plantation leaseholders with truly valuable services. Still fresh from the fields, the fruit quickly reaches the factory. From there, the colony's delightful coffee must be brought to the warehouses and offices in the port for export. That shouldn't be left up to the local coolies. No way. Too easygoing, too inefficient, too unreliable. Specially built stations are called for so that the first-rate coffee makes it into town undamaged. If need be, stations that can be guarded against plundering hordes. This campaign is very basic, but it's very good for beginners. 
it's a good starting point. I would highly suggest anyone who is new to the franchise to start with the campaign. And look at that, the, the transport score has increased from 0 to 8% because of that uh, load that was uh, moved by the train. Yeah, so in, from there is where the balancing act happens. We uh, add more freight, we add more cars, we add more frequency, and we see how that affects the score here. But now we have a clear view of if it's good, if it's too much, if it's too little, and whatnot. Alright, anyway, let's go and build a truck station. Is that the one here? Yes, truck station. Let's connect you. 78k? Uh, is there no smaller one? Uh, oh, that's expensive. Okay, fine. So we see that both the train station and the uh, plant, the factory, are in catchment. That's good. Let's uh, keep that close. Right? Commercial area on the town okay so we basically deliver once the coffee is uh, um, roasted we can then ship it to the town which is if you look at this town Surabaya we can see that it is actually looking for beans and when we the, the game is very intuitive because when we plop down the truck unload stop I like this one because inside in a town you don't need to load stuff you just unload it so you don't need a full-fledged truck station you can just have a unload stop right here now in the previous game in the original transport fever we had a workaround we did not have this truck unload stop but we had a bus stop and it was serving as the same thing but it was not very nice sounding but now this works so now if we see here the buildings you can actually see each house having a coffee icon so those are the buildings that we should be delivering to which means that wherever we plop this down we have to take note of their catchment area they should be glowing white something along those lines i think i'm just not sure why if it's too close if the truck stop is too close it will not light up the house will not light up if it's farther it will still not too used to that too familiar with that concept but i think this is a good enough catchment hey alex <laughs> glad you made it man sorry for the ad hoc stream um why is this not working i'm not sure if it allows me though glad you made it man were you trucking <laughs> yeah i couldn't wait till tomorrow I wanted to stream already and hang out with you guys, so uh, glad you made it. Really, it's uh, this. This has been the thing I've been looking forward to the past few weeks with all that's been happening. So thank you guys for joining. Um, uh, that's not working though. I, I made all that speech, and I don't think it will work. I think it wants a full-fledged truck station right here. Um, now I don't want to remove any of the buildings if possible. Because that will cost money and we don't want to remove houses from people. So what I can do... Didn't receive any notification. <laughs> oh yeah, Twitch at its finest. That one seems like the best deal. Will it allow me to build here? Um... No, I don't think it got recognized. Dang it. Um, now, the thing with Transport Fever is it's very brutal. When you do that, I don't think there's an undo button. You have to bulldoze it. You won't earn anything back. I think you actually lose more money. Because you have to bulldoze the building you just built. So it doesn't really baby you around that one ready there to go. go nothing stands in the way of speedy transportation to the local port anymore not Send very the freight efficient cars of coffee on their way on twitch's behalf there was an update oh perfect timing <laughs> nice establish a route between the new stops and allocate at least four appropriate vehicles vehicles on the route so from there 
to there and uh, then we create a depot I don't think we have a depot just yet a road depot we can connect through here is that a house oh crap someone's building houses okay yeah, we can we can build it here over on this side 15k take that I'm not thank goodness I'm not OCD I didn't well not in this case no need to align everything um, buy vehicles and the cargo is what we need um, covered or flatbed I think I like the flatbed just so we can see the stuff at least four I'll give you six and it's nice that you can actually select all of them and assign them to the line. The factory now finds itself in a laudable position by sending processed coffee into town. To experience considerable growth, its products have to reach a clientele with money to spend. The guys over at Urban Games, they've learned so much from the past uh, experience with Transport Fever. They've learned the quality of life, the, uh, the interface tweaks. And now, Transport Fever 2 is like a culmination of all those learnings. Oh and no! Uh, Lucas, the capable engineer on your locomotive, seems to have vanished from the face of the earth. That's Anywhere him. else for that matter. Time to find a stand-in. Right away. Would one of the natives be able to meet this difficult challenge? Go. Several locals show an interest in learning the decidedly noble profession as locomotive engineer. This is interesting. A practice route for training purposes is needed. Meanwhile, certain signs are feeding horrible words <laughs> about the indigenous tribe's <laughs> diet. Game is a bit confusing. Oh, I like that level of confusion. I can handle that more than the the game that requires more reflexes. <laughs> I think this is the game for me. We'll see, we'll see. I'm still at, only at the beginning though. Uh, build a test track with two small stations in a depot in the highlighted area. Where is you? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Huh. I hope they won't want me to push inside the mountain. Um, okay. Uh, certain signs are feeding horrible rumors about indigenous tribes' diet. Build a test track with two small stations and a depot in the highlighted area. Okay, let's go and check the contours of this guy. So everything on the surface is relatively flat. So let's stay on the absolute edges, the margin of this place. If we make a... Wait a minute, two small stations, right? Two small stations in a depot. <laughs> yeah, this is my type of game. Now, I can try to create a, a station right here. So it will be a dual purpose kind of deal. And not only for practice, but when we're moving this already. Uh, although I don't think there is any... Ah, I see, I see. Right now, we can actually deliver sugar straight into Surabaya. But yeah, not, right now that's not really our priority. But I'll uh, try to future-proof it if I can by creating a terminal here. If it will allow me at least. That one. Did it uh, capture that one? I'm not sure. So that's one station and the other one is... I have no idea where it wants the other one. I guess over here? On this side? Okay, that's cheaper. Let's go with that. Alright, and then we just go around maybe? Loop the loop. So I don't want contour lines. I don't like building tracks like this. Black and white, so hard to see. Looks like we'll have to punch through a lot of trees though. Oh, that's not good. We'll have to slow down here. Yay! Thanks to your reliable deliveries, the factory is working far above par. Although it would certainly be capable of processing much more virtually colossal capacities of coffee. 
you should weigh the idea of increasing the transport volume, because coffee from the colony is a commodity in great demand in parlours and salons on the continent. One train isn't enough to adequately supply the factory with uh, yeah. coffee fruit. A passing That's siding right. is needed so that a second train can use the line. I knew it. It would want me to make a passing siding. You uh, sit tight there. I'm busy. So what we need is actually to pass through here. One sec, huh? Um, where's the contour here? There in the middle is where we want to go. So if I try that. Loving the music. Absolutely loving the music. Very chill. And this is not the best track layout. We can only go 70 kilometers, but I mean, our trains can only go up to 45 anyway, so we're still uh, very much on the edge there. We have a lot of leeway, actually. Alright. Can I just connect that? Easy peasy? Okay. What happens if I just uh, punch through here? Let's see what it will do. That one, 402k. Okay, it's going to be a huge loop around there. Won't allow me. It's not going to be that easy. Fine. Man, the graphics do love it. When you zoom in, you can see really see the detail, huh? It's amazing how they've done this. What is that? Is that a road? Okay, that's a road. Can't be there. Have to be a bit here inside the road. Sick, huh? Volcano test track. Oh my goodness. Me and volcanoes, we don't mix well. We know that by now, right? There you go. Oi. Um, I think it wants one more. Uh, a depot. A depot. Okay, I'm missing a depot. So let's make a depot right here. Where is the flattest area? I guess this would be fine. Um. Getting overloads left and right. Hey, V3D. How are you, man? Glad you made it. Glad you could join. Finally the got the chance. The correct way to drive the vehicle must be practiced first, so that potential passengers are not scared off right away. In the meantime, some hard-to-digest news reaches you. Your what? skilled worker is said to have fallen victim to a bloodthirsty tribe of cannibals. Oh my goodness, cannibals. <laughs> yeah, I did the announcement in Discord, but I didn't tag everyone. So I didn't want to disturb those who are having a rest or whatnot. Buy a loco and have it driven along the test track for at least 1500 meters. Okay. Alright, so that should be pretty simple. So we can buy the cheapest one. Can we not buy a second-hand one? Uh, the D13. Buy it. Okay. And then have them drive a local 1500 meters. So what I can do is I can make a line just to force them to go around there. Uh, can I just do that? No. Cannot have to be that way then it will loop around like so and then back again um, hmm. why doesn't it use the other way um, hmm, maybe I didn't ma need to make it a loop huh okay fine that's fine so you go and loop around get some training in Hopping on a warm pair of slippers. Thank you. <laughs> Take that as a compliment. Ooh, love that view. 4 a.m. Oh my goodness. Thanks for being here, man. Oh, there you go. It's running. Let's just leave that running. Yes, the key got sorted. They sent me a new one. The, the original one was uh, duplicate for some reason. Right. We need to build passing loops. We need to connect the first and second highlighted ends of the track. 
it's probably this one yes good and then they'll have me make a signal let's try that hello there it is there it is there you go the trains should wait for each other on the passing side this requires placing signals signals yes I'm a bit familiar with that now there you go and one more here If the plant is voilà. used to its fullest capacity, another complete train is needed. Now I think there is a way to duplicate the train. Um, let's figure that out. Train depot, this guy. Buy vehicles. Huh. Configure. That's the one. Clone selected vehicle. Wherever coffee oh, there we go. Thrives, it's easy. Business wow. and prosperity flourish too. Thanks oh. to the railroad, the port town of Surabaya has become a lively trading center for nice. countless goods and services. I didn't expect it to be all that easy. All kinds of people from all <laughs> corners of the island want to do profitable business here. Sure thing That's why the colonial administration has commissioned you with setting up a passenger line from Semarang to Surabaya. Time to build a line which will soon link the key trading hubs in eastern Java. Semarang to Surabaya. Okay. Oh, we're almost done with the uh, training for the loco. Have they even finished one route? I think it's only one lap and they're good. Connecting the towns with the railway. Okay, okay. Mission tasks. Okay, so how does this work? How does the catchment thing work here? Uh, with goods, it's pretty straightforward. We know we need to connect to industries that are looking for that particular good. But with houses, do we connect them with residential? I guess so, right? I guess so. Good news! Yeah. The locomotive engineer has returned safe and sound. While you pictured him in the stomachs of savages, he was having the time of his life in the virgin forest. <laughs> Naturally, you can't tolerate misconduct like that and regretfully have to fire the good man. See ya. Okay, let's connect these guys. Now, let's, let me have a quick look of how it's working now with our current uh, stuff here. Look at all that stuff, 152. Um, it looks like... Looks like the goods are now expiring. I see them. I didn't see that before in the old, in the previous game. You see, shipping hundred, transport thirty two percent. Not very good, but uh, we have two trains now. Hopefully, that will improve something. We will see. We will see. And over here, we don't really have anything. We have three pieces of coffee, coffee beans. Yeah. Because we have run out of, um, let me see, so we still have, no we don't have any coffee fruits anymore, so there is nothing to convert into beans. And because of that, both the production and the shipping are slowly decaying, at least until the next uh, uh, batch of coffee fruits arrive. Okay, gotcha. Alright, so now we can focus on the trains. Passenger trains this time. Let's have a look at the contour. Let's study this one. It's relatively flat as long as we don't go through here in this mountain. Um, Semarang. Uh, Surabaya. Yeah, it's, it's relatively flat. That shouldn't be a problem. And since we only have two towns here, I think I can actually build like a terminus. Is that what you call them? So I can actually make a train passenger terminus station. Have it be at the end like this. See how the catchment would be. I think we might need to build like bus stations or whatnot in this case. Something like that would be in catchment. 209 can be actually 172 if we cheap out a little. Nah, it's 
too expensive. Okay, I have to bite the bullet. If we connect to a road, it's going to be expensive because there's a bit of elevation in there. That's fine, we'll make it work somehow. For the sake of... No, it cannot be because there's, there are contours there. Yeah, there's a hill there. Has to be this one here. For the sake of OCD? No, you cannot, you cannot give my OCD a chance right now. Costs come first. Okay, these are industries, I think. I think they need to be connected to houses. I'm not so sure though. But anyway, we'll connect here and just, just do it by bus if needed. Connect them by bus. Something like that. Should work. Passenger, cargo. Passenger, cargo, depot. Tracks. Good. Alright, let's see. Now the easiest way is to just do something like that. 349k. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. There's a bit of... Uh, yeah, we'll need some terraforming there. Some earthworks. But I mean, that will make the train faster. That will make the train not need to go up and down. So let us... The railroad has been completed. Curiosity runs high. Time will tell if passenger transportation really is a venture that's worthwhile. <laughs> Did that just rhyme? Wow. Okay, let's go and build a depot. This time in the center. Over here. Why not? For a change. So it can be it can work both ways. A formidable enterprise like yours calls for a suitably first rate branch office. After all, you're not just anybody. What's this guy doing now? Um, okay. Build a prestigious residence that is unrivaled in the whole island. Wow, can I make it like here on top of the volcano? I'd like that. Let's try that later. But first, let's connect these guys. Uh, we connect this guy over here. Wow, that's a bit of earthworks right there. Coffee made. Good. Connect like that, maybe? Not very efficient. Oh my goodness, look at the earthworks there. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> but fine, that will look good. It's a nice, this is, would be a, like a nice uh, train spotting position, huh? Put the tripod there, capture all the trains going in and out. Lovely. Alright, so let's go and buy a vehicle. Uh, let's take the Borsig. And passenger cargo. We don't have multiple units just yet. Bavarian passenger car. Now we need to get an idea of how many people want to move. Right now we have eight people. Let's have a look. We can have a look at the lines in the meantime. Are we earning anything? Line statistics. We are earning on line one, 37k, but we're losing money on line two. Negative one six. So that's fine. So that's being offset. So somehow we are netting positive. Uh, line three though, the practice line. I don't want that. So right now, I think what we can do is dispatch that guy. Where are you? You. Um, configure and sell. Um, sell. Yes. Thank you. Oh, and now it just disappears. Doesn't need to be back in the depot. Okay. Yeah, Smoky Diesel's still not here. Thanks for following, by the way, and welcome to the channel. Feel free to say hi so we can give you a proper welcome. Normally, I don't say the name immediately because some people are. Some people prefer to lurk. Oh, lovely station right there. Even has a bell and everything. Man, they really up their game here, huh? I think I'll have to take a photo first, though. 
lovely, lovely view. Uh, a bit overlooking, I think, would be nice. Let's make it a bit wider. Oh, I think wider is this one, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, sold. Alright, um, go. We need a depot, we have a depot. Let's make a train. We have a train, I think. I thought we did, at least. Oh yeah, we wanted the stats. Stats are here. So if we look, we have 113 people. Destinations, okay. Um, let's see. Surabaya. Actually, there is nothing going to Semarang because there's not even a line. There's not even a line, a road right now that goes there. So they are completely disconnected from each other at the moment. Um, but in terms of the people, we have 115 destinations, 132 residents. We don't know how many would want to go through there. I don't think there is a clear way to know at the moment. We just have to get something out and then analyze from there. You can't get, we cannot get it right the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah not that one. Borsig is the best one for the moment. Let's add one, two. What I like about this one as well, you can see the power of the train and the rating. Mediocre, four wagons, four cars. If you add like... There we go. At that point, it will become poor rating. So you know when you're overtaxing the uh, train. Right now, I think 40 people. That might be a bit too much. Let's go with 32. Let's go and buy two of those. And I'll need a passing loop, I know. Um, buy them. And create a line. Before, the, you used to be able to create a line through here. But now, I think they changed that a bit. From here to here. Yeah? And uh, the vehicles here assign you to line 4. Good. And then we'll need a passing loop somewhere. Um, can't even remember if that's the correct term. Uh, let's go with that. Let's make it as smooth as possible. Not that it's needed, but fine. Join that back in. Alright, get some signals in. And need the other side. Is this automatically one way already? I think it is. There we go. Simple passing loop. I think I got a comment at one point saying it's not the right term. Or it's quite confusing because depending on the country, they call it different. But I guess you guys know what I mean. There we go. More earthworks. That's fine. One twenty would be there. Love that effect. Even there's even a shine on the the metal part. It's nice. Over here as well. Beautiful. Good. So, are we getting more people? That's the question. Let's see. This is the second train. Man, that must be pretty smoky, huh? Do they have their windows open? Nice Indo music. Very nice music. They really up their game here. I've gotten a couple of comments before. People were complaining about the music if you were using the default one. <laughs> but yeah. Now, uh, I don't think there will be that complaint anymore. 
uh, no people here. I think it will take some time for them to realize that there is a new way through. But one sec. Um, we need to get people in there. Anyway, let's focus on building a headquarters. How do you even make that? Um, okay. Build the headquarters. Uh, terrain. No buildings. Where would you build that? Strange. Also, how do you view all the buildings? Because you can you can see here passenger, cargo, and depot. But how do you go back to default? Show everything. I think there needs to be a button there. <laughs> no worries, Jay. And that reminds me, I haven't had break. Uh, I haven't had lunch yet. But I'm not yet hungry because we had breakfast a while ago. I don't normally have breakfast. I'll eat later. So, let's see. Um, there's one person now. A brave soul. <laughs> one person. Let's go and look for him. Or her. That's our lady. <coughs> Matilda Hughes. You deserve a medal. There you go. Our first passenger. Um, okay. So, how the heck do you build the headquarters? Uh, let's see. The Matilda Line? Oh yeah, that's a nice name. The Matilda Line, in honor of the first brave soul. <laughs> Where is she? Can you click on her? That's her. I don't think you can click click on her specifically. Alright, fine, 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 fine. Um any ideas guys, how do you make that uh headquarters? Is there anything here? That might be indicative of that headquarters. A highlighted area. Interesting. I'm stumped. Maybe there's something we can click through here. How about that building? Can we buy that? Oh, that sounds familiar. I don't like that sound. Well, normally I don't because that's the sound of a penalty, <laughs> a loan payment or a ticket in truck sim. But we also made that the sound of a donation, so kind of evens out. How about this one? Can we buy that or something? No, I don't think so. No warnings. Still no person in here. How's this going? Full? Yes, full. What we can actually do is uh, create a truck station that goes from here and to here. So we can deliver coffee also to Semarang. Now currently, Semarang says we don't need anything. We don't need coffee. But I'm sure when they start tasting the coffee, they will love it. That will become a demand. <clears throat> Focus though. First things first. How the heck do you build the headquarters? Yeah. Very nice map, huh? Very Indonesia having all these volcanoes. Build a prestigious residence that is unrivaled on the whole island. Waltzing Matilda, yeah. 
So this this has a historical reference, Jay? I think so. Let's see, let's have a look at the vehicles here. Buildings. Tram depot, road depot, truck station, bus or tram stop. Paint tools, assets. Wow, we can plop down trees. Goodness. Is this because we have debug mode on? I'm not sure. So let's see. Headquarters. The residence. Building. I have no clue. Nope. Mission Asset Builder. What is that? Oh, how about that one? I know. I think this is from debug mode only. Asset Temple. Uh, it's only for temples. Stuck. Book now, Europe. Beautiful, beautiful graphics. And I'm not sure. I think they're making use of multiple threads as well. Not as evenly. I think they have like two main threads or something. But it's not purely single thread at least. Ooh, look at those flock of birds. V formation and everything. Didn't see anything. <laughs> Crane's flock. That's nice. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'll take a photo here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That is so nice. What's that another guy doing? I want this view. Let's wait for them to all be in the V formation. There you go. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not sure how that works. And uh, people are don't seem like they want to ride on the train. So I think what we'll do is we'll connect them. Uh, buildings, passenger, bus stop. So what we'll do is we'll make a bus station right here. On the same side of the street. Maybe on this opposite side. Nah, this the same side. Same side. So they don't have to cross the road. Okay. And then let's put bus stops everywhere else. I think there is an overlay for... There you go, land use. Now what we need is for people... To go around from residential Let's just maybe take them to the something like this go and loop around a bit right and then going back pass through here take the shorter way there you go. So let's try and make a line coming from the station. Going around. Something like so. Yeah? That should be good for like a feeder line. Right? Okay. And then we already have a a depot here so if you buy passenger stuff steam yes let's go with that five sign you all to this line perfect where are you guys 
There we go. That should help with the transportation. Let's do the same here because uh, right now, these people are not going anywhere. Uh -huh. Residents are over here. So let's go and make feeder lines in here. Um, bus stop right here next to the station. Can you not make it a, a train bus thingy? One sec, let's explore that. If I do this, configure passenger buildings. A small side building for passenger stations. So can we can they drop them there? Maybe they can drop them there automatic. I'm not so sure. Let's try it. If I need a bus station at all. If we can build a bus stop right here. Overlay please, thank you. So we start off here. Go around. Deliver you there. And then going back. Uh, go this way. That way. Okay, that should be good. And then when we make a line, we start from here, here, here. Uh, okay, that doesn't work. We need a bus station. All right, all right. All Muslim city and culture. Ah, the the sound is very Chinese. At least a while ago. Now, yeah, it's a bit more like Arabian. Yeah, I think that's close. Close enough, I guess. Asian is all bundled up in the same one. I'm okay with that, as long as we have something at least. Um. What we can do is build a stop right here. Oh, that's nice. Have a uh, connection for passengers. That's amazing. That's looking pretty good, actually. So we add a station for. Oh, da, 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 not that one. Add it to the end, right? So go back like this. And uh, go through here and there. Yes, good. Perfect. All right, now we need a road depot here. I think what we can do is we can basically get some of these guys in. Love a song. Why are the uh, vehicles not Asian? Or were there no Asian vehicles at that time? There you go. Nice. Let's see how that works. So we are starting to get people here. That's nice. One person. Where is it? Uh, yeah, some, some people here. Actually, a lot. Five in one side, one in the other. That's good. If you have a look at our lines here, line statistics. Oh, look at that. We're earning lots of money from the, the coffee business. But we're losing a lot of money on the passenger business. But don't worry. That will fix itself once we make those feeder lines in. Place was mainly occupied by French in the 1800s. Ah, I see. Yeah, makes sense. That's why we have the ban me, right? Which is like a baguette with uh, some local twist. Right, let's go and fast forward this one. Okay, 
Looking good. Having a look at my system. Seems to be hanging in there, hopefully. Alright, we are seeing more and more people transported, that's good. Come on. There we go, it's starting. It's starting, guys. Yeah, I think we might have too many trains, actually. How do we look at the stats here? Um, if we look at Surabaya... Surabaya, we have... Um, yeah, look at that. 186 destinations for public transport. And it's rising. That's good. If we look at the destinations, we have... 39 going to Semarang for shop and work. Line usage is 66, no, 99%. Interesting. So I think what we had to do was actually make the bus lines cover the entire city because it's not only from house to house. Like some people from Surabaya, the other city, they would be coming from their homes, yes, but they would take the train to this place, to Semarang, because they work here or they shop here. Uh-oh! It's there rumbling in the island's interior. The mighty volcano Merapi threatens to erupt. Which A one? phenomenon like this wasn't reckoned with while planning the route. The natives claim that someone has probably angered one of their gods. Whatever the case, if the precious coffee fruit is supposed to be transported by rail in the future too, then it's imperative that something be done. It seems oh, nice, worthwhile to remove the infrastructure if it's not supposed to be buried under ashes and lava. Okay, so send the trains to the depot and remove the stop at the coffee plantation from the route. What? No! Oh, dang it. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Send the trains to the depot, alright. So let's pick line one. All the line ones, configure vehicles, all of you, go back to the depot. Oh crap, yeah, the other one won't have a way because he'll have to go around manually. We'll have to babysit him because there's only one way to the depot. And if he's coming from this side, he'll have to go past the depot, make a U-turn, and then he can go in. But right now he cannot yet. And then we'll need to remove, uh, what did it say? Remove the stop of the coffee plantation from the route, this one. Okay. To enable coffee production to continue making progress in future, the route ought to be relocated to an area where it can be assumed that the expected eruptions will leave it intact. Okay, remove station and tracks from the damage zone of the volcano and rebuild outside this area. I see. Okay, so we'll basically be extending the, uh, the line. Okay, clear enough. Demolish tracks. Good. And now we build an alternative line. So if we take it like this one here, so we can build a terminus over here. Connect it straight up. And it will be coming from around this direction. Double check contours. Contours, that would be the best angle of attack. Attack. Basically, uh, it's the wrong building. Dang it. Hmm. There's no undo. Uh, cargo. Have to be very careful there. There we go. Okay. So now we build tracks. And um, can we start from here? Uh, yeah, no. No, 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 no. Okay, we start from there, we connect it, uh, 90 max speed, yeah, shouldn't be a problem, 
can just loop around here. It'll be a bit longer overall, but it'll be better. There we go. That's perfect. The danger nice. has been averted. The transport can be resumed. What's more, the volcano is showing signs of coming down again. Despite that, maybe relocating the route was still a wise move. Mm hmm. So we connect that over here. No, 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 no. We connect that here. There you go. The fertile island line. has a lot more to offer than coffee. The widow of a friendly grower, may the poor devil rest in peace, has been planting sugar cane lately. Make the lady happy by providing her with your services. Okay. The sugar must be transported to town. From there it is shipped and then served when continental Europeans get together for coffee. That's what I was thinking a while ago, right? No path. What do you mean no path? Of course there's a path. You have to have a signal here as well. <clears throat> okay, looking good. Transport coffee fruit. Let's leave that running. And then we deliver sugar. So from here, we can use the same plant, but this time we can, I guess, use this line. Yes. So we can deliver and drop stuff here. So I'm thinking, would it be possible? Let me see. Um, where do you need the where do you need the stuff the sugar how do you make that appear again um, cargo there you go oh over here residential okay that's perfect because if this is the catchment, yeah, that captures most of this. So what we need to do is we need to make a new line, a new platform, our cargo platform. Um, how does this work? One sec, give me a bit of time. I think what we can do is make, we can add a track here on this side. Right. Yes. And then we can add a platform, a cargo platform on this side. Oh, I love this modular mode. It is so customizable. Love it. Cargo buildings. Um, street access for cargo stations. Um, how does that work? Um, okay. Small main building. Street access for cargo stations. So I can actually do it like... Is this considered as a cargo station? Street access for cargo stations. That's only the street there. Small main building. Hmm. I do like this one. Let's do it like this. Okay. And then what do we do there? I guess we need to connect that by road. The tooth. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yes. The highlight of the game. <laughs> Let's make a road here. Streets. A uh, small street should be fine. Hmm. 
Something like that. Yeah, that's connected, but uh, what what good does it do? I am not sure. I'm not so sure. But okay, so we have that now. So what we can do, we have some passing lanes here. So what we can just do is connect this track to the main line like so. Right? And I think that should be good. And that's cut off. One sec. I... Perfect, that's the one. Alright, that's what I want. Okay, so we have a way to arrive. So we can actually create a uh, rail track from here to here. Let's try that. Hey, hey this. How's it going? We are back finally. How have you been? Alright. We make a level crossing here, that should be fine. There's not that many vehicles yet this uh, period. Doesn't need to be that pretty, just needs to be functional. Oh crap. And now I have a bit of a problem here. Let me remove that a bit. Because I actually wanted this one to connect here, that way. Perfect. Yes. Good. So here we need a, a signal which would be there and here we need a signal well we already have a signal right here that should be fine yeah that should be okay i think and then i think there's a built-in signal in the station anyway so that should be good so they can share the line is how i understand it so we can build a train here um, we can build a line make a line from here to here there we go it's recognizing the uh, the new platform for cargo i should have not, not even sure if i needed it if i'm only go going to drop things off but fine and then i build the vehicle let's take the borsig this time it's sugar that we're carrying, so it's this one. One, two, three, four. Should be fine. Let's get to. Uh -huh. Can I maybe add more? One sec, huh? Instead of. Wow, that's uh, that's a very long train. How about that one? Let's have one that's long. For a change. Line 8. What? What's the problem? Okay, what's the problem? Passenger stop cannot be used by cargo vehicles. Oi, 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 oi. One sec, one sec. Um, didn't I make this a cargo thingy? <laughs> Clumsy trans transport indeed. So I'm not sure what the problem is. Because we configured this cargo building, yeah, that's a cargo building. Can even that add that one? I don't know if that helps. No, looks like not. Tracks, yes, platforms. Yeah, we added. 
So we have it for cargo here. We have passenger here. We have cargo here. I don't get that problem. Am I configuring this wrong, guys? Am I configuring this wrong? This one is reaching that one. Maybe it doesn't work like that. Maybe it doesn't work like that. Because for here, I see... Yeah, it's still passenger here. Terminals. Okay. Configure. What is that? Passenger underpass. Oh, I love this. Very nice. But yeah, I'm not sure if it's working. It's very nice, but I'm not sure if it's working. So if I build a train, a building, a cargo terminus station. Oh, I don't think I need this just to make that work. What do you guys think? Why doesn't it allow me? Now that sounds very Chinese. Yeah, no, no sugar is getting through here. Where's the train? That's the long train. Oh my goodness, it's super slow. <laughs> this will not do. Can we configure him right here? Or does it need to be like... In the depot. I guess he needs to be in a depot. Huh? Go to a depot. So... I don't get that part yet, so I think we'll have to destroy it. Let's leave those two tracks in there. It's a warning. It's saying that it's not allowed. But now it's working, I think. Um. Yeah, now it's working. At least there's no complaint anymore. Have they started to put in sugar? Traffic is flowing okay. full steam ahead. The plantation business is developing magnificently. In light nice. of all this success, the incumbent governor is thinking of moving back to his Dutch homeland in good time. Thanks to your outstanding work, you have a good chance of inheriting his post. Let's continue fixing the other stuff and then we finish this one. Yes. There's a video there was a video yesterday, there's going to be a video later as well. Really looking forward to playing. Exploring more of the DLC. So let me see. I have some tracks there. I would like that to become a cargo terminal. Can I not just make it like that? Then maybe make it uh, cargo building, a medium main building. How about that? That one. Okay. Uh, 
Add it there. Okay. Now it's going to the other lane. Other uh, track. Okay. Let's uh, fix this. And configure you. Let's get only four in there. Alright. And assign you to line eight. And still, it's a problem. It's saying, passenger stop cannot be used by cargo vehicles. But I already made this for cargo. So I don't get it. Do I have to assign it manually somehow? I don't have a clue. Alright, Hades. Thanks a lot, man. Glad you were able to drop by. Catch you next time. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. I'm just going to make a cargo station and then be done with it. No aesthetics power at all. Let's do that and connect this just to get it done with. It seems a bit wonky that one. I might not be understanding it properly or I might be missing something to make it a proper uh, to make it a proper station. I don't get it. Okay, so we add this one, right? Could not connect all stations. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess that's why. Okay, no more complaints, finally. I don't get it. I don't really get it. Okay, that has a bit of catchment in there. Where's our train? How do you check all the vehicles in that line? That one. Right there. Wait a minute. That's that guy's line 8. Why is he looping all the way around there? Huh? Line 8 is supposed to be. That's one. That's two. I don't get it. But now we have sugar, finally. Okay, so it's working. Strange. Let's go and fast forward that one. See where he's going. Just to make a U turn or something? He loops through there. <laughs> Weird as heck. There you go. Now it's working. Shit. 
shipping only 14. That's fine. That's a good start. And we see the signals at work. Stops there. After he crosses that part, he moves forward. Okay, the signals at least seem to work fine. They're not optimal. They introduce a lot of waiting time, but at least they work. It's nice. Good. Clicking on your account. Hey, Playful Dolphin. Uh, but it was complaining when I didn't do it a while ago. The cargo station. Sugar there rattles we go. toward town quickly by train. Nice. What a pleasure. And yeah, when I tried to create our cargo stop here, extending the modular uh, feature of the passenger station, it wouldn't consider that as a cargo stop. It wasn't creating, putting sugar there. Account and then headquarters. Ah, thank you, thank you. It's amazing. Uh, how do we build that out here? Okay, I see. Let's build one right here. The center. Oh, that's nice. The huge lawn and everything. A truly attractive <laughs> estate, but nice. a veritable plague is spoiling all the fun. Snakes have occupied the building. Rumor has it that a wise old woman knows how you could rid yourself of the snakes in your walls. She's supposed to be in Surabaya. Okay. The old woman says she doesn't know a thing, but you should try your luck with her cousin in Semarang, who has a knack for the art of snake charming. Interesting. The snake charmer declared that you've probably angered the mighty snake goddess with your projects. Oh, wow, the snake beautiful. priestess of Mount Merapi is the only one who could remedy the situation. Goodness, that is beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Bit of sightseeing tour. So I guess we visit all the temples. The priestess has spoken. The only way she is willing to call off her children is if you make a sacrifice to the great snake goddess. Coffee, the priestess prophesied, will be the <sighs> sure thing to appease the goddess. Oh my goodness. Okay. If you say so. Uh, then we make a bus stop here. Uh, truck unload stop. Yeah, that's within the catchment here. And then we make some streets. Um, a, a small country road should be enough. Wow. That's super expensive. Wait a, wait a minute. Is that a small country road? Yes, it is. Um, okay. Should we maybe loop around or something? Nah, let's just do it. There we go. It's interesting how that works. These like pedestrian connectors. I guess that uh, plays a role in if uh, people can walk to your building or not. There we go. We create a line from here to there and we assign a building assign a uh, we create a depot just so we won't have to wait that long what are you new line fast forward one quick sting, loco. <laughs> I know, right? That's it, new stuff. What's the complaint now? I uh, put the wrong vehicle, didn't I? Yes, I did. You uh, go sell. Uh, 
cargo is what I wanted. That one. Okay, perfect. This guy is not carrying anything. You go around. Pick something up. Oh crap, this is going to take a while. Okay. We'll have to wait for the next batch of uh, coffee fruits. They think that's the catchment. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, production. Consumption. So I guess we just have to max that out. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Let's have a look at that. Those are the stocks. Running out pretty fast. And there we go. We have two coffee beans now on line 9. That's what we want. Thanks for following, Dolphin. <laughs> Thanks for the tips. <laughs> we finally uh, got that headquarters in. But it was a very simple thing, huh? It's not even connected to the road. I wonder what that number is for. So this one, how do you normally do it? Am I missing something? Are you familiar with this? If I configure it, I can add a platform like that. Or I can even add a new track. But am I missing something else? And I can also add a small main building. Yeah, I tried it a while ago, it didn't seem to work. Oh, look at this. Wow, this. We need more trains here and longer trains at that. Is this our vehicle? Should have some. Uh, Three out of five. Yeah, that's a good start. Even from here, look at that view. Lovely. Traveling at five kilometers per hour. Oh my goodness, I pity these horses. <laughs> Lovely. How many does she need? What a godsend. There we go. The stylish residence is pleasantly snake free again. Earn all medals in one of the missions. Perfect. Alright, I think that's it. We've done everything. That's a good start. It's a good primer. Getting back into transport fever. But I think next time we will go to free mode. I think I can am ready to start the, the series. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Welcome back, Jay. We finished all the missions. And I think I'll save it. And we will end the stream there for today. We'll uh, decide tomorrow if we go for missions or free mode. I'll let you guys decide. And it's the dawning of the go. 20th century. The major powers of Europe are in that one. the island of Java. Tropical jewel cool. in the midst of the Indian. Mankind is constant. Alright. Let's leave it there, guys. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. Finally back. Tomorrow, I'll see how I can stream. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, keep you guys posted on Discord. But, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for being here. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Alex. JV3D. Dolphin when whoever else is back, whoever else is here. Thanks, I'm glad to be back. Happy to be here again. Thank you and uh, catch you guys tomorrow. GG, bye-bye. Clumsy Transport for the win. <laughs> Clans, Clumsy Transport Limited sounds good. Thanks, bye-bye.